Hi, Tony here. Welcome to the channel and welcome back if you've been here before. Now you may have seen a recent video announcing a change of bike for me. This was all to do with a trip that I've had planned for quite some time. I'm going to do it next year. Uh, hopefully, assuming COVID allows me to, and I wanted to have a change of bike. Part of the process of getting ready for this ride is to get that bike ready for touring. And obviously the most important part of that is its luggage carrying ability. Now I've been looking around at various options on the marketplace, but I went back to the same side carriers that I used on my Tiger, which are the SW Motec Pro carriers. Now, there are many reasons why I chose these carriers. Firstly is the design and the build. They're incredibly well built, really nicely finished. And I've found with every SW Motec piece that I put on the bike, it just goes straight on. I've not had to adjust anything. Uh, the, the design and the fit is, is absolutely spot on. Apart from their construction and the fit, the other reason I really like these is they are very quick and simple to remove. For me, if I want to ride the bike and I'm not carrying luggage, I don't want to ride around with a load of scaffolding on the back. And the fact that these can be clipped on and off with these little speed twist locks means that you can stick them on when you need them. And when you don't need them, you haven't got to carry this extra weight and bulk around with you. And when this is not fitted, all you've got on the bike, as you'll see when I go through the fitting process, are a few small brackets, which are actually pretty discreet. Now the way that this side plate is designed gives you lots of flexibility. So not only can you fit SW Motec bags on here, you can also buy adapters so that you can fit things like Jivy, uh, Hepco and Becker, Kappa, Shad. And I think that flexibility is important because in my case at the moment, I've got the Krieger OS panniers. If I want to go uh, for an aluminium panner and maybe I have a set of soft and hard panniers, then all I need to do is change the fitting kit that goes on here and I can fit the aluminium panniers. No need to have to completely refit a new set of side carriers. Okay, so that's enough talk about the hardware. How easy is it to fit? Well, it's incredibly easy and this is how it's done. As you can see, there's not much to the kit that goes on here, but it is very well engineered and very well finished, and it's a nice, easy job to do. So grab yourself a beer, check out the comprehensive instructions, and seeing as you've opened it, you might as well have a swig of that beer. And then grab your first tool, which is a T30 torque screw, and that allows you to undo the number plate bolts Underneath there, you'll see the carrier for the reflector. And then that first part I put on the ground is the rear mount, which fits between that reflector carrier and the number plate. Pop that back on with the four bolts. And there you can see the very discreet clamp that just sticks out behind the plate. Reward yourself for that little job with another swig of the beer. Then grab a T45 torque screw to undo the bolts on the side under the seat. Note that the back one is longer than the front one. Then pull together these parts from the fitting kit. The aluminium spacer fits at the back to level everything up on the bracket and pop the captive nut plate on the frame tab. These can then be fully tightened with the washer on the outside of the bracket. This is the bracket set up for the left side rear foot peg. Make sure the spacer goes inside the bracket. It fits in a recess on the mount on the foot peg. Tighten that up, then switch and do the same to the other side. That's another job done now, so celebrate with another swig of beer. And it's time to fit the speed clips to the side panniers itself. Very simple, push them through and there's a little circle clip that just snaps into place, which stops that from falling out again. And as far as the mounting hardware is concerned, that's it. It's now time to snap the side carrier on and it's just a case of pushing that speed clip into the hole, twisting it with a screwdriver and it locks on nice and securely. And that's the one thing I talked about at the beginning about the quality of the build. I've not had to adjust anything. I've not had to move or uh, fiddle with any of the brackets. Exactly where they're bolted into place is exactly where they need to be. And just to reiterate how quick and easy these things are to fit and unfit, here is me removing the side carrier in real time. 
easy. But I hear you say anybody can undo that and take it away. Well, you can also add a security lock to one of the mounting points. And if you've got any beer left, reward yourself for a job well done. As you can see from the rear view, it's a pretty low profile setup and it clears the stock exhaust very nicely. I was then able to refit the side plates to enable the use of my Krieger Overlander system soft luggage. I've got an OS22 on the right hand side and an OS32 on the left side, which give me plenty of storage, particularly when used in conjunction with a top box. They're 100% waterproof and incredibly tough. So as you can see, even when consuming a beer, it's very easy to fit this set. You can do it in about a half an hour, 45 minutes, an hour at the absolute tops if you're working particularly slowly and taking your time. I think you'll agree it's a very neat setup. Uh, the panniers are a very nice fit on the bike. They sit around that standard exhaust nicely, but you've also got plenty of room if there is a change in that exhaust uh, to, to be able to encounter that. They don't stick out too far, uh, so once you get the cases on, the, the bars on the 790 are not overly wide. They're not as big as something like the Africa Twin or a GS. So you tend to find that when you put cases on the back of that, they do stick out past where the bars are. Uh, so that's obviously something you need to be aware of. But again, when you take those side carriers off, it's really discreet. You wouldn't necessarily notice that there's any fittings on the bike to take those. So uh, thumbs up for that. So it fits well, it looks good, it's tough, it's very flexible. What about the cost? Well, that entire kit for the 790 that you saw me fitting was £224, which I think is pretty good. I'll leave a link in the description for you to go away and have a look at where I bought that from. Uh, you've obviously then, it, depending on what side of side panniers you want to put, you then have to buy the adapter kit for that. So if I wanted to put my Jivy 30 litre top box on as a side case, I can buy a monokey kit, bolt it to that side carrier, snap those on. So that flexibility for me is really good. You've also got security, so you can buy the uh, theft prevention locks and a pair of those with the key uh, is around about 50 pounds. Again, there'll be a link in the description for that. And that just means that if you're going to be away for any length of time or you're going to be leaving the bike somewhere, then uh, you can obviously secure those to the bike. And it means that somebody can't just come along, pop it off and run away with it. If you're looking for a luggage solution, I hope this video has been useful. Uh, if you've got any comments or questions, you know where to put those in the section down below. There'll be more of these videos coming along as I change and update bits on the bike. Uh, to suit me and to suit the journeys that I have planned going forward. So if you're into that sort of thing, follow along. Uh, we'll be putting videos up on a, on a relatively regular basis for that. And uh, all that leaves me to say is until next time, thanks for watching. Take care, ride safe, and I'll see you soon. Bye.